my ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and today I'm gonna talk to you about Gary V thinks white people should be able to say nigger. <laughs> so I've done videos about this dude before and in those videos I talked about my background like being in high school, like I've been around people like him before and you can see there's a certain personality type, there's a sense of entitlement, there's a sense of feeling like they have a hood pass and they can do whatever the fuck that they wanna do, right? And because he documents everything that he does, you can get him saying shit that came out of his mouth that ain't nobody really stretching or ain't nobody trying to make that big of an issue, it's just the fact that the shit you're saying is a big issue. Like the fact that he thinks this shit's okay shows how fucked up that he really is. I want y'all to watch this clip and I want y'all to pay attention to what he says and how nonsensical this shit truly is. The whole idea of like, oh, certain parts of the NYD are so worse. And like, people are gonna get offended by it and that's fine, but I don't think that that should stop people saying. Like, people still say the F word and everything like that. I don't think the, the racial history of the N word should stop it being like the F word. I think that the more people say it and the more we let other ethnic groups say it and say things like the P word and all these racial slurs, the more they lose their power. Because I let all my white friends say the N word. And he's like, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, no, because if we keep stopping them from saying it, it's, it's still he's not actually right, the power when in my opinion. Off, but it's white says it. But it's so hard to go there. <laughs> I laugh so hard when I sing music and like I, I will not say it. But you know what's funny but back to black friends like in college my friends like wanted me to to his point. When I first saw this clip I was like I think I'm misinterpreting what's being said here like this, like, this motherfucker can't be serious. So I went back and I watched it again, and I watched it again. And not only is he serious, like this is something that if it could benefit him, he would absolutely hop on board and really push. First of all, the jackass who was talking that said, just like the P word and the B word, if we let people say it, it will go away. Who invented the word nigga? For those y'all that watch this video, who invented the word nigger? White people invented the word nigger. White people had a monopoly on nigger for hundreds of years. Then all of a sudden, in the mid 1900s, black people, we started using it. And at first we were using it as a derogatory term towards each other because we were still brainwashed. But then we started using it as a term of endearment. And then in the 70s and the 80s, it really took off. We took off the ER and we added the A. And then we start putting it in our art. And then it became cool. And then it became really, really cool. And then all of a sudden, white people who had ownership of this word for all these years, for centuries, and were using it to kill, to demonize, to rape. The last word that a lot of our ancestors heard before they were hung from a tree. Now all of a sudden they want to take ownership of this shit. Y'all had a license to say it for 400 fucking years and it didn't take away how painful it was. Nigger is still just as painful as it was back in the day. We say nigger. But today, because we put in our art, that we flipped something that was negative to a positive, now you got dudes like Gary V think it's okay that y'all can say this shit? Bro, that shit's not cool. How in the fuck can you have as many black people on your platform? You constantly got rappers up here. You constantly got actors up here. You constantly got athletes up here. You going on to the breakfast club. You speaking at A3C. How can you be around this many black people all the time and say some bullshit like that? And think that shit's cool. And think that shit's gonna ride. Because he's fucking entitled. He don't give a fuck about us. He sat in front of two black men and said that he wishes that white people were allowed to say the word nigger because it would take away the weight of it and everybody will be happy with it. That's the biggest crock of shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. You just wanna say the shit, cause like you said in the clip, when I'm in the car, it's so hard for me not to say it in songs, I won't say it. Bullshit, you be saying that shit. You be saying that shit. You just don't say the shit when the cameras is on. You just don't say the shit when nobody's around. But you be saying that shit. Just like a lot of white people who are watching this right now, y'all be saying that shit. You think I'm stretching? You think I'm pulling strings? You think this is a one-off? 
Watch this clip. Yeah, but, but the action is what you have to look at. Like right. tweeting like fuck you or like using the N word or like things that we would be super uh, offensive and reaction to is not ruining lives. The actions of like, of like engaging with an underage woman in sexual behavior, like you have to map back to the action, not the tweet. This dude is at Stanford Business School. He's sitting in front of Tyra Banks, a black woman, like a black, black woman. And for those of you that know what I mean by that, you know what I'm talking about. Who has taken herself from being a sex object, being a model, being an actor, to being a for real businesswoman. And somebody that's had to deal with sexism in their life, that's had to deal with racism in their life. And he is sitting there justifying that the words that come from rapists and Me Too and the word nigger doesn't ruin lives. When you go into the clip and it gets longer, he really starts going into it. And Tyra Banks says. I disagree with you, yeah, but yeah. I don't have the knowledge that you have to be able to debate you. And there's a woman in the class that's actually speaking up too, talking about these same things. This dude in a very serious business setting, in a business school, is talking about this stuff and he still is on the same thing. So it's not like he was just doing that in front of the black dudes. He was doing this in front of a black woman and also in a class full of white people at Stanford Graduate School. This is who he is. This man really thinks that white people should be allowed to say the word nigger. This man really thinks that that word doesn't have power. This man really doesn't understand the history of the word. And he doesn't understand what it means when people say it. Yet, KRS One's one of his favorite rappers. Yet, he's always talking about hip hop. Yet, he's always talking about rap. Yet, he's always has black people around. Yet, he acted like he was crying when Nipsey died and all this bullshit. But you think that this shit you're saying aligns with the values of Nipsey Hussle? This dude is a fucking culture vulture. Y'all gotta stop supporting this shit. Y'all gotta stop clicking his shit. Y'all gotta stop watching his shit. Unless you want this type of shit to bleed into our culture where a motherfucker like this just keeps taking and taking and taking and taking. And the next thing you know, he's justifying all his bullshit and everybody around you just saying nigger and we're supposed to act like that it's okay. I wanna hear what y'all got to say. I know there's something that's gonna trigger some people. I wanna hear what y'all got to say on both sides. Should white people be allowed to say the word nigger? Y'all know where I fucking stand on it. And for those of you that didn't see this clip, is he full of shit? Let me know. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.